Form greetings for the day. I, Dr. Jyotsna Vasan from Department of Computer Science, Maitri College, welcome you all on this module of creating mind maps using Coggle. Under one week national level faculty development program on digital pedagogy to enhance teaching and learning experience. Today, we are living in the world where there is a lots of lots of information. To handle such information and making sense out of it and finding meaning of the information, it is really very important to develop key skills. Also, continuously in online learning world where with the digital pedagogy, it is important to develop such key skills to express oneself. And one of the very famous ways of doing this is mind maps. Mind maps are basically the visual representation of the information and they make learning very easy. For this purpose, we are using Coggle. Coggle is an online tool for creating and sharing information. It works online in your browser. There is nothing to download or install. So you can log in to just start making a diagram. Whether you are taking notes or brainstorming or planning anything, it is super simple to visualize the ideas with Coggle. We can share our Coggle with as many as friends or colleagues as we like. And changes that we are making can be show up instantly in their browser wherever they are in the world. So it's very useful. So mind maps could be very useful in digital pedagogy. It helps students to learn new concepts easily and it helps teachers to explain concepts easily. Students have to constantly learn new concepts and apply them. But we really don't want them to simply memorize dates, facts and phrases. But what we want them to actually understand the concepts we are covering so that they can apply in real life. A mind map can be created to depict how a concept breaks down into different parts, what those parts mean and how they tie into each other together. So this approach helps students to understand new things in a ways that make sense to them, allowing them to retain new information for much longer time and also for teachers to explain the concept. It is can and should involve students participation. Getting students to share their opinions or discuss a topic can be tough, but starting a mind map or on the blackboard or whiteboard with students input can get them involved. Mind mapping a classroom discussion is a great way to learn where our students level of understanding sits. It is a great way to validate our students ideas and make them feel more comfortable and thinking openly and critically. It also works as a form of peer learning. It also promotes individual creativity and focus because it provides a platform for a self-expression. Also, it acts as a digital resource bank because when we are creating a digital mind map, we can include links to other online resources. As your student's mind map begins to branch out, he or she can link to different websites and resources that provide even more detailed information. It is also an effective note-taking method for students. They can actually organize their concepts and tie things together in the form of a mind map. We can also improve collaboration with the classmates or other colleagues because it helps us to do group assignments. Students have to be inclusive, listen to one another and work together on such assignments. So when they decide how to best approach the assignments, the mind map criteria is very useful. They also provide a way for setting up the goals and solving problems. So effectively, they are very useful. As the real value of mind maps is their versatility in visually organizing information and showing relationships among pieces of the whole concept, let's start our demonstration. So we can go to any web browser and type coggle.it. It will take us to the Coggle web page. Here we can sign up for Coggle with any of our email IDs. 
and for this we have three pricing options one we have a free version we have an awesome plan and we have organizational plan but with the freeware also we have liberty to create unlimited public diagrams we have uh, three private diagrams per mission and also we have beautiful 1600 icons to use within our mind maps also whatever we have created we can download in the form of pdf or the image coggle can be added to the waffle of the gmail account as an application so we can log in into our gmail with the g suite account for reference it is techno-update.maitri.du.ac.in here. In, in the waffle of this account, we can go to more from Google Workspace Marketplace tab. Once we click on this, we will reach to the Google Workspace tab. There, we can search for Coggle. So once we search for Coggle, we click on it. And we can see we can install it on the whole domain of our organization or we can do the individual install so for reference here i'm just doing individual install i click on it and then we have account details we select those and we say allow this app to be added to my g drive so i say allow and we say done so now in the waffle we can see that coggle has been added and now we can use it from our institutional g suite account logging in through the normal gmail account and you try to install coggle then it will just say install it will not separate domain install or the individual install so from here you can install a simple coggle app onto your normal gmail account so to create a mind map we will go to create diagram icon with a plus sign once we click on it it will take us to the page where we can create our mind map so now we can start making our mind map this is uh, area where we give the central theme to our mind map so for example here we can just click and edit and we can type anything that is our central theme so here for a reference we are using mind mapping once we click on the central theme we can just drag the box around it to change the font size also we can see that there is plus sign on all the sides of this central theme when we click on this plus sign we can add a new branch to our mind map so let's expand our branches here we can click to edit let's say Also, we can further extend it by adding more sub branches. So now we can extend on our sub parts. Once we click any of the sub part we can see that there is a text box for this we can format our text area within this we can also include the link to the website or any other web resource for a quick reference we can put images for a quick reference and also we can search for icons to make it more beautiful so for example for example if I click on upload an image here, I can add some relevant images here. So I selected this one. 
and you can see that our image has been added. We can drag to position it further. Whenever we drag, we can change the alignment of our sub branches according to our own convenience. Also, for the goals, we can try for adding an icon. So maybe we set a flag for setting up the goals. Now we can add a link over here. So we can link this part to the website by clicking here and providing a reference for the link. So this is our link. So now we can see that it has turned into a link. Whenever we click on this, it gives us the resource to which we can go and refer what is the strategic planning, prepare and create. Similarly, we can work on other subparts. For example, here also we can add more sub branches and more context. If we click on plus, we add on branches. We can drag it to place it according to our own idea. Also, we can change the text size by dragging as we saw and we can change the boldness. We can select and make it bold. So it is being bold. We can make it italicize also. So this has been italicized. Also, when we right click on the sub part, we can change the color of the branch by clicking on this color palette. So we can choose any other different color also. For example, this one. Also, when we right click, we get an option to delete a particular branch or to copy a branch. And there is an option to choose the shape. So we can choose the shape for our sub part as well. So if we click, this will be in this shape. And we can similarly change the shape for the other parts we can also move the branch to the other side of our mind map as we have seen that we have liberty to add branches on all the four sides and we can move our one branch to the other side as well so what we have to do, we just need to click on the plus icon here, right click and there's an option drag to transplant a branch. So we can choose this option and we can just drop and drag with the mouse by pressing the left click button and place it here. So now this has been transplanted from the above part to the lower part and we can adjust according to our own convenience we can also share this mind map by clicking on this plus icon and inviting people on their emails to whom we want to collaborate with so we can just type in the id and say send So the person has been invited to collaborate on this. So the person that has been invited will receive an email uh, from the original user that the Coggle diagram has been created and you have been added. Now you can work on this mind map as well. So the person can view the mind map and work over it. You can see here we have 
uh, techno update maitri college as an original user and the other user that was invited was jt watson so now jt watson can also work over it and add branches So it is now in the sharing mode. Both users can see what the changes are going up and they can collaborate over this diagram. Additionally, by clicking on this icon, we can see the version history of this mind map by at different time intervals. So we can see that how it was looking 10 minutes before, an hour ago, a two hour ago, and so on. Again, by clicking right click on this, we can see that there's a comment uh, icon here. If we click on this, we can add comments here. So, for example, you are commenting on the collaborate sub part. So, we can add comments here. Can you please add team members? Here. So yes, we can just put up a comment. So whosoever is opening the message box can see the comment has been made on the collaborate sub part. So yes, we can further add the team members here. So this is how it works. All the changes that have been done to our mind map are automatically saved on Coggle.it. But we can also download by clicking on this icon. Once we click, it allows us to download our mind map into different versions. Like we can download it as a PDF, image, flowchart, and so on. So here we can click on uh, download as an image. So this is an image and we can save this image onto our machine. So I'm just clicking save and the image is downloaded onto my machine. I can just see the image and use this image. Further, when we right click here, we can see that we have options to show children as well as to hide children. So we can hide this branch. And whenever we want to see, we can just click back and we can see the children. So we can hide the children and we can show them as per our con convenience. So this is how we create mind map using Coggle. We can add more and more branches according to our context. We can download the mind map as an image or a PDF. And also we can work in a collaborative environment with our students and with our other faculty members to have a teamwork it has a lot and lot of applications as we have discussed already and this is one of the best ways to organize our thoughts as we have discussed for the digital pedagogy mind maps are very useful as they can act as a lesson planner we can design our objectives homework discussion forums activities assessments etc through these mind maps also, taken from my own research, I used mind map on Kogel for developing a timeline for the literature review of the area of my research from 2013 to 19. So it gave me a comprehensive way, a pictorial way to represent the literature review in this format and very easy to comprehend. And similarly, we can have a lot and lot of applications of mind maps in education and research. So I hope you like this topic of mind maps. Thank you for your patient hearing and happy learning.